Now let us look into the exception to the rule of rational function relating to vertical asymptotes. To find equation of vertical asymptote of a rational function equate denominator to 0. Well that is the process of finding vertical asymptote but this should be used very cautiously. Let me give you an example. So f of x equals to let us say 2x minus 1 divided by x squared minus 4, right? So in this particular case, we can equate denominator to 0 and find the equation of vertical asymptotes. We say x squared minus 4 is equals to 0. Then we say x squared equals to 4. x is equals to plus minus square root of 4 which is indeed equals to plus minus 2. And so we say vertical asymptote will be at x equals to 2 or at x equals to minus 2. So this equation of rational function will have two vertical asymptotes, right? Now let us consider another example which is of similar kind. So if I write down f of x equals to x plus 1 over x square minus 1. In that case, if I do the same calculation, equating denominator to 0, I'll get x square minus 1 equals to 0, x square equals to 1, x is equals to plus minus square root of 1, that is equals to plus minus 1. Now the question is, do you have vertical asymptote at x equals to 1 and at x equals to minus 1? No, right? So, it is an exception to the rule. Why? The reason is, you could actually solve this equation as follows. We should actually. Denominator is x plus 1 times x minus 1. Perfect. Now here, x plus 1 and x plus 1 are common factors which cancel out. So, we actually have whole at x equals to minus 1 and vertical asymptote at x equals to plus 1, not at both the points, correct? So this one is incorrect. So you have to apply the rule cautiously. Look for holes when you are looking for vertical asymptotes. There is a possibility of having a common denominator and it, there is a possibility of having a common factor in numerator and denominator, which may lead to a hole. So, so that's a word of cautious where you should apply when you apply this kind of a rule. I hope that helps. Thank you.